Dear all, welcome back to Eduox. In this video session, we are going to discuss about space syntax analysis, connectivity and integration. Connectivity, it is a static local assessment that takes into consideration all of the direct connections that each street has with the other streets in its immediate neighborhood. A street that has numerous links to its side streets has a high connectivity value, whereas the streets that has a few connections has a low connectivity value. A color palette can be used to represent these values. The streets with the most links to the neighboring streets are shown by the axial lines in red and yellow. All of the streets that are in dark blue in color have just one or two connections with the nearby streets. Streets in the city centers have a high degree of connection. Connectivity analysis is thus very simple. It is about counting the number of connections each street has to its adjacent streets. And about topological mean depth, it is the average topological depth from each space to all other spaces. And this connectivity map shows n-step analysis from all railway stations in Rotterdam. Integration The term global integration refers to how a roadway interacts with all other streets in a given spatial system. This might be a district, a quarter, a hamlet, town or city or even a region. The degree of accessibility a street with the other street in urban system is estimated using a global integration analysis which takes into account the total number of directional changes of the urban entity. A global integration study determines how spatially integrated a street axis or axial line is in comparison to all other streets in the system. The fewer the changes of direction or the syntactic steps required from streets to reach all places in the system, the higher the street global integration value. In contrast, roadways that need many directional changes to reach all other places in the urban system tend to have a poor global integration scores. Figure shows global and local integration analysis of Oslo. The most globally integrated axial lines are the outer ring road followed by the middle ring road. Both ring roads serve the vehicular movement. In particular, the outer ring road is a busy car-based road. At every junction, a car-based shopping mall is located. The local highly integrated streets are Oslo's most pedestrian-friendly and vital shopping streets. And these streets have mixed land use with individual small shops, cafes and chain stores.